The Bristol Eurodynamics Trainer is a brand independent simulator of a Eurodynamics machine. It displays on a computer screen what an actual machine would when connected to a patient. For instance, when the taps are opened to the patient, a realistic patient pressure and a live signal are displayed. The screen also has a zero button and two error signals that can be displayed or not as required. This means it can be used for either training or assessment of equipment users. The unit is connected to the computer using the USB connector on the rear. For training, select both error alarms and ask the trainee to set up the system for zeroing to atmosphere at the start of the test. Good Eurodynamics practice is to close off the dome to the syringes above and open the dome to atmospheric pressure below. Zero can now be set. Whatever pressure was registered before, the levels are now set to zero, just as on an actual machine. If, however, zero is set while the taps are open to the patient, it would be an error, as you would be setting your reference point as the unknown bladder pressure, known as zeroing to the bladder. The error signal on the screen points out that zero is being set to the wrong reference. The trainee can then be led through the correct zeroing procedure. Once this has been done, a simulation of urodynamic recording can be carried out by opening the taps to the patient. The pressure rises to a normal patient level and a live signal appears on both lines. A cough can now be simulated when the trainee presses the button on the front of the unit. The peaks rise equally indicating good pressure transmission on both lines. For training purposes, the trainer can now introduce a simulation of an air bubble in the line by pressing either of the damp buttons on the rear. If a cough signal is generated now, poor transmission is displayed on the affected line. If this was a real machine, the air bubble will need to be flushed out using the correct procedure. Again, just as on a real machine, the pressure will rise to a high level during flushing. Then when the top tap is closed, another cough will show transmission has been restored. Note that if the syringe tap had been left open at this point, a poor cough would still have occurred as the syringe itself damps the cough response. If the syringe tap had remained closed by mistake during this procedure, a real machine would have spilt water. The machine alerts the user to this by lighting and sounding the water spill alarm. Another feature of good urodynamic practice that can be simulated is the setting of reference level. While moving the trainer vertically, the displayed pressure changes due to the relative positions of transducer and patient. Good urodynamics practice is to set this level to the upper edge of the symphysis pubis. Another issue that occurs during real urodynamics testing is a leak in the water line. 
The trainer simulates this by pressing one of the leak buttons on the rear. The pressure on the selected line will fall slowly as if water is leaking from the system. The trainee will need to recognize this and explain how to remedy the leak. The trainer then presses the leak button again to remove the simulated problem. When no error buttons are selected, the trainee can be assessed. They are given a task and carry it out without errors being highlighted on the screen. The trainer can introduce simulated problems that the trainee has to resolve. In this case, the trainee is setting the system to zero, to atmosphere, opening to patient pressure and checking a cough. The trainer now introduces a simulated air bubble that requires flushing out. The trainee identifies this by doing a cough and then resolving the problem by flushing the air bubble through. The Bristol Eurodynamics Trainer can be used to enhance the skills necessary for good urodynamic practice and diagnostic quality for patient benefit.